It has been 15 days since the charter bus carrying Farmingdale High School marching band members crashed, killing two adults on board. Tonight, the marching band will play for the first time since that crash during the school's homecoming game. CBS 2's Alicia Reed joins us live from Farmingdale. Alicia. Dig and Dana, lots of mixed emotions and nerves out here tonight. Farmingdale is now on the field getting warmed up. The community has banded together and wrapped their arms around the students here. You can see the sea of green across the field. Fans are gathering well ahead of the game. And in just a short while, this field is where all the action will take place. The pregame show starts at 6.15. The marching band will play the national anthem and the school's fight song. An emotional evening here. Is this is the first time they'll be playing a football game since the deadly crash on September 21st when the band was heading to band camp. They lost their band director, Gina Pelletier, and retired teacher and chaperone, Beatrice Ferrari, that day. The two are being honored tonight. Their initials placed on the football field where the varsity team is playing against Baldwin. Then at halftime, the marching band will play once again. The kids are driven, <laughs> driven. they're like, you know, Dale is strong. You know, and even the community, these schools from like all over the place sent food to the school and they still do. The cafeteria is full of just donation food and stuff. It's great. Yeah, the community is great. The kids are super and they, they know that they're special now. Of course, every game is important, but tonight is about much more. The Daler family is banding together and showing their resilience. Live in Farmingdale, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News. Going to be a tough night, Alicia. Yeah. Thanks very much.